Welcome back to another episode of The Rising, where we're going to be looking at the building interface. I'll hit B to bring up the building interface, and you'll notice that we have several tabs, fundamentals, production, castle, exterior, and lighting. Clicking on production, we'll have further tabs, crafting, refinement, and storage. Currently, all we can do is a simple workbench in the crafting. In refinement, we have the sawmill, we have the furnace, blood press, vermin nest, and the grinder. In storage, we have access to our stashes, and you may notice that we also have access to stashes through the fundamentals tab. Under the storage tab, we have access to the vampire lockbox, a special stash that enemy vampires cannot loot. On the castle, all we have right now is wooden stairs. On the exterior, we have access to borders and wooden stairs once again. Borders can also be found under the fundamentals tab. Wooden stairs can only be placed on ramps. We may have a demonstration in a later video. Finally, we have the lighting tab where we'll have access to various types of lighting decorations. Some of these decorations can be affixed to pillars as I'm demonstrating here. As you progress through the game, you'll have access to more and more decorations and buildings. Our journal entry in the upper left hand corner is instructing us to construct a sawmill. So we'll open up the production tab, go to the refinement tab, and select the sawmill, and we'll place it in the left corner of our base. Now I'm walking over to the sawmill, I will interact by pressing F, and we'll notice that a few things pop up about our sawmill. In the lower portion of the sawmill window, there is an input section and an output section. Placing raw materials into the input section will begin crafting according to the recipes found above. You can toggle input and output if you desire to place items in the input, but don't want it to actually run. Here I place some lumber, and it begins making for me planks and sawdust according to the recipe found above. There is also one unknown recipe that will require some iron ingots and some planks in order to create reinforced plank, but we do not know that recipe and cannot craft it at this time. You may notice that this panel is highlighted, Castle Heart is powered, that is because we have blood essence in our Castle Heart. The two squares next to it, however, are not bright, because we are not in a confined castle room, and so we do not gain the 25% crafting bonus, nor do we have the matching workshop floor to reduce our input costs. These things will happen later as we progress through the game and build a more sophisticated castle. Now let's construct our simple workbench. Hitting B will bring up my menu, going to crafting. I'll see the simple workbench. However, we do not have enough planks, and so I'll put a little bit more wood in so we can get enough planks. And in the meantime, while that is crafting, I decide that I'll gather a few resources by chopping down some trees. Here I notice that there is a bag on the ground with a blue tint. This has been demonstrated before, but not explained. These are items that can be picked up, and here I have collected a pine cone. The pine cone, along with the blood rose seed that I collected in a previous video, is an item that can be planted in your territory. I expand the territory so I have some extra room, and I'll place the pine cone down by pressing 9 on my keyboard. It is my current understanding that plants and trees can only be placed by having them inside of your inventory bar and then pressing the corresponding key. In my case, this was 8 and 9 because I had placed the pine cone and the other seed in those locations in my inventory bar. You cannot place seeds through your normal building interface. Now that I have enough planks, I will create the simple workbench. However, my base is already beginning to become a little bit crowded, and so in just a moment I'll make a little bit more space. One of the fun aspects of V-Rising is just how quickly your base can begin to grow. Here I'll go into Fundamentals, select Border, Expand, back to Production, to Crafting, and we'll place our simple workbench, rotating our build by pressing Q. Now let's take a second and interact with our simple workbench by pressing F. You'll notice right away that it says Castle Heart Powered because we have Blood Essence in our Castle Heart. We do not have a confined castle room, nor do we have a matching floor, and so we do not get these bonuses. You will also notice that we gain access to a couple of tiers of weaponry. We have access to sword, axe, mace, and now a bone spear. 
We also have copper variants of those same weapons, but we can't make those quite yet because we lack copper. We also have access to a few new rings that could increase our spell power. We also have access to tier 2 armor, which we'll make in the near future. Additionally, we have access to the third tier armor, the Night Stalker vest, leggings, gloves, and boots. Finally, and interestingly, we have access to special keys. These very expensive keys are intended for use in PvP servers. Because we are playing solo, they will be completely worthless to us. We can use these keys when we are interacting with an enemy castle heart to either destroy the castle or take over the castle. Now, our journal wants us to increase our gear level. Hitting tab, I can see my gear level. Alternatively, you can see your gear level above your vampire next to your health bar. To increase our gear level, we will need to create a higher tier of weapon and armor. I decide here to make a reinforced bone mace. Once the bone mace is finished crafting, it will appear in the container section of the simple workbench. I then add it to my inventory. You will notice, however, that even though it is in my inventory, my gear level did not increase. In order to actually increase your gear level, you must have the mace equipped. I tap 3 to equip my mace, and it bumps up to 13. I tap 1, and it goes back down to 10. Your gear level is dependent not only on the armor you are wearing, but also on the weapon you currently have equipped. Do notice that all of the weapons in the same tier share the same gear level. And I think we will end here. Thank you for watching.